Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, The Golf Doctor, and today I want you to stop wasting your time and money getting golf lessons. That's a bit of a weird way to start. Stay tuned. So why is a teaching golf professional earning a living from coaching people telling you that you should stop wasting your time and money in getting golf lessons. It sounds a bit strange, but it actually makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense. Most people are wasting their time because they think a golf lesson is gonna give them the better score. It's gonna make them take money off their friends. So the typical scenario is they come in, they pay their money for the lesson, they have the lesson, and then they go straight from the lesson out on the course and they think they're gonna be fixed. Not even close. A golf lesson will give you an insight into things you need to change to improve your golf swing. Just because you have the lesson doesn't mean to say that you've got it and that you've made change. You may understand what it is that you need to change, but you won't have it at the end of the golf lesson. How do we get it? Well, the only way you can get it is to actually repeat. So we need to do repetition. Whatever the change is to your swing, you've got to learn to repeat it. It takes many, many repetitions to ingrain a new habit. Unfortunately, most people don't spend time having repetitions. They just repeat the golf lesson. So I had a client recently booked a, booked a five lesson package for me. Uh, and he turned up the first lesson and he told me he'd booked a lesson every single day for the rest of the week. First thing I did was cancel it because there's no way in the world five lessons in five days is actually gonna help the guy. Because the, my formula for sex, success is golf lesson plus three times practice equals improvement. If you just have a lesson and you don't touch a club between the lessons, there's no way you're gonna improve. And if you do improve, you're lucky. What you need to do in between the lessons is far more important than the golf lesson itself. Now, I'm not saying that the golf lesson isn't important. It is, of course it is. But it's what you do between the lessons that really sets you up for the next lesson. So you wanna to get to the point where if, if you've been told to work on something, you work on it and you keep doing it and you repeat it time after time so that it becomes second nature. Now, you don't have to hit thousands of golf balls but I'm a big believer in having lots of golf swings. And probably the, the, the one piece of advice I could give to everybody that will definitely improve their golf swing is to take 60 practice swings per day. 20 in the morning, 20 at lunch, 20 at night. Do it slowly, do it in front of the mirror. And I've said it before and I'll continue saying it until I'm in the grave. 60 practice swings per day is a great way of embedding a new habit. So whatever the move is that your coach has been trying to get you to do, do it three times a day in lots of 20. If you can do that practice in between the lesson, you will definitely improve. So it's about repetition, and the more you repeat it, the more you will remember what it takes to do that movement so that when you get out on the golf course, hopefully it will happen automatically. But so many people have the lesson, they see an improvement during the lesson because they've hit a few shots in a row under, under the watchful eye of their golf coach, and they think, I've got it, let me get out in the course. And whatever they've been working on hasn't transferred to the course yet. The only way it can transfer to the course is through practice and repetition. So that's the theme for this. If you just want to fix your golf swing by having a golf lesson, don't waste your time and money. If you want to improve your golf swing by having lessons and then committing to practice between the lessons, go and have a lesson. It's really good for you, you will benefit. So I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, what have you found uh, has worked for you in the past? Leave some comments down the bottom uh, on YouTube. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, The Golf Doctor. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube videos, you can click on the round avatar down the bottom there. You can get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. And you can sign up to my electronic newsletter at thegolfdoctor.com.au.